Yeah. Afro-Asiatic. Yeah. Of Shemitic descent. Uh. Yeah. Who's the Yahoo? Yeah. Shalom, shalom, kulam, shabbat shalom. Today is September 6, 2019. I just wanted to go over something real, very quick. It's called Afro-Asiatic, right? I just want to give you the simplicity of it. I'm going to break it down real quick. Afro-Asiatic has six phylum or six characteristics. One, you have Ometic. Two, is Chadic. Three, is Beber. Four, is Cushetic. Five, is Shemetic. Six is Egyptian. I want you to remember one thing. Noah, Noach, or Noah, however people say it, he had three sons. He had Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Japheth is the father of the Europeans. Shem is the father of the Shemitic nations. And Ham is the father of the Hamitic nations. But Ham and Shem together is Afro-Asiatic. Just remember that. All right. Now, out of the six phylum, there's something very significantly historical and biblical. You have Cushetic and you have Shemetic. Now, between Cushetic and Shemetic, oh, Ham had a son named Cush, which is the Ethiopians or Cushites. Ham also had a son named Mizraim or Egypt or Kemet. All right. So Noah, so Noah's son Shem is one of the Afro-Asiatic phylum and Noah's two grandsons, Cush and Mitzrayim of Egypt is on here too. So three of the six phylum <laughs> is connected to Noah, which Noah, he's a descendant of Adam. So Adam, he's the father of everything. And then after the flood, Noah, he's the father. Everybody comes from Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. So from Noah, you have Shem, you have Cush, you have Mitzrayim. So Noah's son, Shem, is here. Noah's grandson, Cush, is here. And Egypt is there, or Mitzrayim, or Kemet. All right. So you have the Cushetic and Shemetic. Um, there are two, there's two of the phylum out of the six. There's historical and biblical relationship, right? Now, there are six nations that come out of these two phylum, um, the Cushetic and the Shemetic. All right, first let's deal with Cushetic. You have Cushetic, you have Eastern Cushetic. What comes out of that? You have Somalia and you have Oromia, or Somalia and Oromo. They are two Eastern Cushetic, so they are Afro-Asiatic. Right? They're Afro-Asiatic. They're Cushetic. So they're Afro-Asiatic, Cushetic, Eastern Cushetic. So you have Somalia and Oromo. You know these are black African melanated nations. There's no argument. Right? Now, out of Shemetic, there's four nations that come out of that. Check this out. You got Central and Southern Shemetic. Southern Shemetic. On one, you have Amharic, Ethiopian which is Shemetic or Semitic. And two, you have Tigrinya Eritrean, which is Semitic. They're both Southern Shemetic. So now we have Cushetic. We have Somalia and Oromo, which is Eastern Cushetic. We have Amharic, Ethiopia, and Tigrinya Eritrean, which is Southern Shemetic. These four nations are African nations. They're Afro-Asiatic. One is Shemetic. I mean, two of them is Shemetic. Two of them is Cushetic. They're melanated, they're black, no argument. Now, check this out. Central Shemitic. You have Hebrew and you have the Arab or the Arabic people and, and nation, right? So Central Shemitic, you have Hebrew, you have Afro-Asiatic, and then you have Arabic, you have the Afro-Palestinian slash the Afro-Arabs. These are the two um, Central Shemitic categories. Now, a lot of people try to make it seem as if the Jews and the Arabs were Caucasian or white, but that's actually incorrect. The original, the original inhabitants, the original stock of Hebrews, the original stock of Arabs was black as well. And I just want to um, sum up and say one thing. Before the Suez Canal, I think 
between 1865 to 1868, before the Suez Canal was made. Um, Middle East was considered Africa. And so when you look at these nations, you see Africa and you see Middle East, but they're Afro-Asiatic. We know that Afro-Asiatic is an African black nation. So, we, so first of all, out of the six phylum, you have three out of the six that's connected to Noah. And Adam was, Adam and Eve was black, the first black man, the black woman. Noah was a descendant of Adam and Eve. They were black. Noah's son Shem is black. Noah's son Ham is black. Ham's sons, Cush or Ethiopia, and Egypt is black. So you got Noah's son and Noah's two grandchildren here are part of that. And from the two phylum, Cushetic and Shemetic, you have six nations, which is Somalia, Oromo, Amharic, Ethiopian, Tigrinya, Eritrean, Afro-Asiatic Hebrew, and Afro-Palestinian slash Afro-Arabs. These six different categories is connected to two out of the six. And Egypt was black, Chadic was black, Beber was black, and we haven't even done with the other four. So going forth, I want us to connect and understand that this is Africa Unite. And Afro-Asiatic is Ham and Shem relationship together. And my next part, I'm going to go into biblical scriptures and evidence and connections showing these relationships between these people. But I just wanted to say that um, to sum it up, Afro-Asiatic is Ham and Shem together. Out of the six phylum, three of them are mentioned in the in the Torah, mentioned in the Bri Hakadoshah, mentioned in the, in the Bible. It's biblical connection, biblical history. And I want to let you know that the Cushite, Ethiopian, Shemitic, and Egyptians, they were black. It says that Moses, which was Shemitic, Afro-Asiatic Hebrew, he was mistaken for as the black Egyptians. I just wanted to be, I just want us to see what's going on. So that means, and Moses, he married a Cushite, Cushite woman. That means he could have married a Somali or a Romo woman. He was black. He married a black woman. You had Joseph. He had an Egyptian wife. He was black. He married a black woman. And out of the ten tribes of out of the twelve tribes of Israel, two of the tribes is half Hamitic, half Shemitic. So I just wanted to give you a quick little um, preview of Afro-Asiatic and what's what you can look forward to coming soon. Shabbat Shalom. But she's Afro-Asiatic. I'm Afro-Asiatic. Yeah. Hebrew Israelite. But Shemitic. Man, she's Afro-Asiatic. I'm Afro-Asiatic. Yeah. Southern, I'm Central, but we still have the same. Yo.